Yeah. Ready to you... start? Yes. <laughs> Who just sits down and starts a conversation like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is incredible. Uh, welcome back to Shadow Memories, I guess. Yeah. We are going. Neil, we, you came, we got you back from the 16th century. Yeah, we, <laughs> we just had to go back to the start of chapter 2 to do it. Who knew? Yeah, uh, crazy. Man. It definitely feels like I travelled here from the 16th century playing this game again. <laughs> yes, we're trying to blitz through as best we can. But, um, yeah, um, this has been... It, it was fun the first time. We got ending D, which is hilarious. Don't worry, we're not going to make you sit through it all. We'll, we'll, we'll let it. We will let it, yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Jeez, <laughs> just right there, the whole, whole time. <laughs> but they gave him a hat so you wouldn't recognise him. <laughs> and, a gla- and a pair of glasses. He's eavesdropping. Yeah. Here, you've, here you've got your philosopher's stone. Yeah. Is this, are, are you sure this is my, I don't recall this. <laughs> That's it. I have no memory of this event. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. But as soon as you left, you walked back in and handed this to me. Oh, I better take it then. Oh, well, I, that, sounds, that sounds like a good idea to me. This isn't mine. Dude. What? But, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. You say something about that. Who said no to that? Yes. You've got this giant room you could buy a house with. No. No, no. No, I'm sorry. It's a literal fucking philosopher's stone! Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one too? No, this lighter is mine. No, you don't strike a lighter, that's a match you're thinking of. Gosh, she's an idiot. I'm always the one it's almost like she has an intellect in the 16th century. She's lucky she's cute. <laughs> tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. Whoa, he's what a so fucking judgmental bitch. He's, all, what a, he's such a wanker he is. You know what, I think I hate him. I hate him too. That's just not me with my foreshadowing knowledge and knowing who he is. I hate him. No, he is actually like one of the more unlikable protagonists in yeah. the game. He's a simple fucking dullard with a stupid name. Mansplainer. I mean, he's not even writing any of this down. Tomorrow. Yeah. I'll make it for you tomorrow. He's a terrible video game protagonist because he doesn't retain any information. Like, that's. But, like, now, I, I, as far as I know, that was the intended purpose for this character. He was deliberately meant to be an idiot. Yeah, he was. He was meant to, he's meant to be a fool. Like, he is. he's such an easily manipulated gobshite that, of course, this, like, otherworldly being in the homunculus is able to fucking. Uh, Manipulate him and uh, basically pull him through like torture each time. I don't even know this, by the way, um, Neil, because you weren't here for the credits. Do you know who's voicing the homunculus? Who? Charles Martinet. It's me, Mario. Fuck off. Yeah! <laughs> the entire time. Like, seriously, would you be fucking well, like? What, did you not get Chris Pratt? <laughs> <laughs> The real Mario, as we call him, yeah? <laughs> he's going to be done for the reboot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's been booked, he's been booked already. He's been yeah. booked, yeah. <laughs> the HD remake. Yeah. Fucking yeah. hell. Dude, this is HD, what are you talking about? I mean, look at that rubbery skin. I mean, oh, Konami have already booked all their other properties to death. Yeah, True. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> There's just having a list going, like, oh god, we're hitting the PSU era. Fuck. <laughs> Shadow <laughs> of Destiny. <laughs> Now, I think I recall that being called Shadow of Memories. Or did I travel through time and change the name? That's why the, that's why there's a re, there's a, the reboot is delayed, because they can't decide on the wording. Yeah. Destiny, Memories, you tell me, buddy. Game so lame, we named it twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we knew it wasn't selling in one market, so... Yeah. <laughs> we just changed the name. And, yeah. It was Shadow that was the mistake. Oh, you got lighter. Wow, we got lighter. <laughs> this has to be the funniest part of the fucking game. It's like, oh, let's bring this random waitress to the 16th century. Bye! <laughs> so fucking dumb. The gas thing is, there's, different, there's other points in this game where you're surrounded by people and it doesn't happen. Yeah. It just happens because the plot demands it for this one person. Yeah. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah, no, but so you, stupid. It sounds like you tried taking a writing class. I have. <laughs> I was pretty good at it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> what do you think that you don't What's so difficult about being one? What is the dressing up of one's station is an offense, you know? Well, can I get into the stocks? Thank you for listening to you. Oh my god, this tall man is about to appear in a couple of minutes is wearing green. Probably the stocks. Oh no, he can summon fire from his hands. Get him. 
How dare you make a dress that's so unseemly. Make me one too. No! <laughs> no! Oh, pretend, pretend to clip me out of existence. There's <laughs> a time paradox. Those tits aren't meant to be there. A little bit, yes! <laughs> Your tits don't belong in the 16th century! I say no tits though. You only breasts. Only breasts! No tits. Bosoms! But the, but the great tit is from my windowsill. <laughs> You're clearly not up in your history. You don't remember the great tit shortage of the 16th century? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a terrible time for us all. It was. <laughs> the pornography was outlawed. Uh, I'm wearing a colour you may know as green. <laughs> These dogs don't need that. <laughs> green? That's what the French wore, isn't it? Kill them! Where? Come on, Cooper. Here, stop the poop walker. Attack. Why should you think of like that? Look, I can't her now because I'm touching clot. <laughs> About the degenerate pussy and her man child to go home, and I just have to go into this corner for 15 minutes. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just here to shit in the pot. Better make it 20. <laughs> oh, he's gonna die at this tree. <laughs> Dysentery! <laughs> no, don't like that! <laughs> we have fire! Stop bothering this woman and go home. If you do as I say... I think he's so smart. Here's the thing, they have a fucking oil lamp. That is the same principle. <laughs> he's literally holding one. <laughs> you know what that is! What happened here, a secret. Understand? He's also like trying to kind of hold that as epically as possible. Like, Hark! I am Lighter Man! Yeah, it's quite Fear me! He's the most unepic person ever. It's literally the same technology you're holding! Fire in your hand! <laughs> fire from his hand, says a man with fire from his hand. <laughs> Good lord! Get that, get that torch behind glass! You'll burn the entire village down, you soak your hand! That's why he's a fucking cowbird. Stella. Fucking stop it! <laughs> Take this fire! <laughs> I will walk with them! <laughs> what happens if our fire runs out? We'll go across the street to Powdery Bar and take theirs. <laughs> the Tigers defend the fire! Fire! What <laughs> one gauge! Uh, oh, that's not good. Look, why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. You slut. Did you just a random stranger who's like towering over you with his massive legs and you invite him into your house? Yeah, she's a slut to be honest. Let me introduce myself. I'm correct. You remind me of my father. I might. <laughs> <laughs> well then, shall we? Well, I remember this page just like it was yesterday. <laughs> <sighs> it, yeah, it right. does have yesterday vibes to it, it doesn't does. it? It does. It does. Do you think Pendulum ripped it off? Do you know what? I wouldn't be fucking surprised. It's really bad that I'm actually able to get to her house before she does. It's like, oh, no, you no, no. Tits is a lot better because the last time we were constantly going, where the fuck is that, that house? house? Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I will. I will. I will All I will these do streets that. look the same. Yeah, I will do that a couple of times in fairness, but um, I just realised yeah. this is your last nightmare. <laughs> you it is actually, laugh. yeah. To be fair. It's a pity I wasn't recording from the start, because this could be a speedrun attempt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'll do is, once I get to a, a point of the point, I'll go for a different endings, and then we can cut the uh, <laughs> it out already. Okay. So, what your choice now, gentlemen, is to choose whether you want A, B, C, wow. or E you for your next ending. Um, well, so, I thought some of the endings only, you can only get by cannoning into them, not the other endings. Yes, so, the, so here's the way it works out, right? In essence, this game has an A, yeah. two B endings, yeah. one C, yeah. D and E, and then EX and EX2. Right? And, and it's true. Uh, well, to be honest, probably the EX one. It's because the EX one. Yeah. Oh, right. But it's basically the EX ending goes one or two ways, depending on what choice you make. Yeah. And essentially, that's your um, that's the decision you, you're, you're stuck with, essentially. It's supposed to be like... 
like because you've done all five from A to E, now Ike has acquired knowledge of every potential permutation, so then he can go back to the monk and go, ha, fuck you, I'm free of my face, type of shit. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a world, like, sort of changing decision, so it's like, that's why you have to do all five first. So is this like the nunnery games? In my <laughs> The zero time dilemma ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh. In, in that yeah. you, you replay through it, knowing the answer to their like escape room puzzles. Yes. And it's like you shouldn't know how to do this. Mm. Huh. And it's like, hey, yeah, for some reason I just got this weird memory of doing exactly this, and then that guy shot me, and it's like, well, I better put this gun away then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a cause and effect loop. Yeah, I know what you mean. And it's because um, apparently it's, there's like, well, uh, it gets really meta, but the main bad guy of that game is. One of the heroes from the future. Ah, uh, well. right. Okay. I see. I see. I got you. I got you. Steins game zero. Wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. It's it's it when you're playing this the first time, you are you are kind of presuming the thing there's like a lot more branching paths. But as I was saying to you guys, really only boils down to two. Yeah. And they only start off with chapter five. So chapter five is the one actually matters. The rest of this is just fluff. Essentially, it's rather set up. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And even then, like, the chapter solves, once you, like, you, once you escape your death, it's the next chapter. Yeah. Essentially, that's how it skips along. It's four chapters of preamble. Four, yeah, essentially, yeah. Well, can we punch in? There isn't actually an ending where Hugo... Uh, actually, yeah, doesn't he become... There's several endings, actually, that end quite badly for Hugo, as I recall. Well, of course, he's a dickhead. Oh, no, no, no. Look at that bull cut. <laughs> He suffered enough, you might argue. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's put out of his misery. He's put out of his misery, yeah. Um, but yeah, like so, the, essentially, like the, like the first choice is if you are if you arbitrarily decide if you're her descendant or not, and that brings you to endings A to C. But, no, no. But can you not say you're not my descendant? I'm yeah. not your descendant. You're mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, which would be more reasonable. <laughs> that is not an option, unfortunately. <laughs> if, you get, if you get DMing first and you willingly go with that, you are just the worst person in life. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Depending on the order he does his endings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, you know what, I'd like to get some this this playthrough, yeah, that's <laughs> Well, I get it in. Tune in next week on The Battle Tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of those arcade like knockouts for battle toads. Battle toads, yeah. They just replaced by small blue birds. Yeah. <laughs> it's so frustrating that you can't get skip the cut so cutscenes first time around. It's so frustrating. <laughs> it's so frustrating that we have to play the game in the first time. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> well, we already have. That's the trouble. Like. Is this girl like your, you know? No, There's no need to put your hands up the thing. It's not attacking you, like. To be fair, he did run through your like through your arse there, and like he dropped, you dropped the fucking time travel pads. Yeah. He was like, like, don't do it again. And he saw it one time and was able to make his own. Oh, he was able to reverse the air from the one time he saw it. She was blonde. Where did you do that? Kind of high, and I think she was wearing something reddish. What? What's red? <laughs> oh, but we only have brown here in the 16th century. Sydney. <laughs> I mean, colours haven't been invented yet. Yes. Yeah, this is why I love, this is why I love how, how absurd this game is, because in order to like visually tell us we're in a certain time period, one has to be all sepia, which is the 16th century. Yeah. But in the 19th century, of course, as we all know, there was a shortage on colour, so it was in black and white. You're still colour green. You don't blend in. <laughs> Actually, to I don't mind the colour palette. No. I, I, I like it's just a visual thing. That's I like it's a ham. It's having a visual distinction. Yeah, it's ham fisted, but it's it's good. Well, it's for your to a degree. Oh no! You know, um, I mean, the fact that we need to like find photos to go to, into places. If, yeah. we, if we just read like a note from a diary, essentially, without, yeah. without a photo, and it went all black and white, and people were like made out of textures of words, I'd be like really into it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'd be like, okay, now we know exactly how the time travel mechanic works here. Yeah. Which I think is what this game's kind of going for. Yeah, the, the whole point is like, um, especially for the reasoning, essentially for the. Uh, I think this is it. Um, the whole reason, essentially, for like the um, for this place being on in sepia is that this is what Ike presumes to be the color. You know, kind of way like if, you're, if, if it's gonna be old, it's all gonna be in sepia, isn't it? My brother in Christ, you're from this time period. <laughs> 
the fuck was Rudolph's strength? Well, we may never know. And do we have to go into the painter slash uh, movie producer slash? Uh, you don't ever have to in the game. It is just it's pure backstory. What? 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 Why did they? Why would you include? Why? <laughs> because they could. It was like an extra, essentially. Yeah, it is. Like you can just go in there and fluff the story. Yeah. That's the the story needs no fluffing. Yeah. It's already erect. <laughs> yeah, well, you need to peek it with the peek, the painters. Uh, get you right to the fucking edge. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that our legs were long enough to store. <laughs> just like packing our back. That's the last shadow of <laughs> shadow of destiny surrounding. <laughs> oh yes, we have to give him a thing. Here, have a postcard. Or do we have to? Oh yes, of course. We don't. Uh, we have to go th do the tree first. That's the lot. Oh yeah, we need to stop the tree from existing so we don't get stabbed. In the yeah, exactly. But well, in order to know that we need to do that, we have to see that the guy needs planting the tree. He needs, needs permission. Yes. From the Lord, which we're just going to steal off a building, and he'll go, "What? Well, uh, good enough for me? I'm well, uh, 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 who am I arguing with this, with this large man? Who am I to argue with a bit of masonry clearly haphazardly <laughs> peeled from the Lord's manor?" It, it'd make even more sense if you actually just threatened them with the, the crest. <laughs> but look, if you don't, if you don't stop that, if you don't stop that the tree, I'm gonna bash you so up. <laughs> you could just do that with a ladder. <laughs> he can't wield a ladder. He's not fucking trained. He's not dual wielding. All he has to do is like incapacitate the guy for a while, then the tree won't grow as large. Yeah. Bash you good. <laughs> you don't need to come to this time period either. You could wait until it was a sapling and then step on it. Yeah, yeah, essentially. See, I, I should be the one with these time travel powers. I would put them to good use. I would be far more efficient. I would be much more pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> you need pedantry if you're time traveling. Exactly. Have you not seen the butterfly effect? <laughs> All time travel is is ninety five percent pedantry. <laughs> 5% mock the shag your own melodies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is all time travel. No, 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 Pedantry and incest. That's it. <laughs> Are we going to back to the future right in this one? <laughs> You're your own grandfather, which is why you were immune to the homunculus. <laughs> oh no, it's locked because it's nighttime. We should go to the daytime. Yes. Well, I've got the key. Of course, I can't let you in for nothing. Yeah, you want to rob from my employer, do you? Well, well I'm bigger than you. I could beat you up and take the key. <laughs> Why don't you sweeten the deal? <laughs> With a lovely uh, picture. <laughs> <laughs> With this priceless piece of art. Oh, wow, it's almost photorealistic. What's a photo? <laughs> <laughs> what realistic? What the hell? I don't like this modern art craze. <laughs> Should I add just a picture frame? What's in this? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, give me the key, motherfucker. <laughs> Punching him through the free. Fantastic. I was going to say, it's just showing you how like dumb like this character is when like those aren't options in his head. Mm. He clearly has to give, he has to believe, he, the naivety is so strong, he has to make a trade. I didn't realise this last time, but that medallion was way too loosely yeah. baked into that. Yeah, we'd probably save somebody's life. That was definitely going to fall off in the next 20 years and kill someone. Yeah. And now nobody knows who the manor belongs to. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. Yeah. That's why it ends up becoming a museum slash library. <laughs> because the owner doesn't have his, his mark on it to get yeah. ownership. It's just like, oh well, my dad's gone. Well, I, I, I guess I'm back to being a pop or something. Where, where did you fit that? <laughs> just took it out, looked at it, and put it the same, the same place you took out the fucking ladder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm aware that he has mallet space. I'm just annoyed that he does. <laughs> But yeah, but now without the, the, the crest on the, the building, like, obviously mm. somebody else came in and went, well, this is mine. And I was like, the I, guy, you have no proof, because yeah, the stone is The actual guy came in and went, ah, it's mine. Like, well, I don't see your name on it. It is, it's right. Fantastic. Does it have a statue? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it matters, as far as I know. I'm actually curious, I don't know, because I've always gone for flowers. I'm pretty sure a statue doesn't matter. But I'm a gardener, how the fuck am I going to build a statue? Because yeah. I'm going to go be trained as a sculptor now. Yeah, and, th and then you eventually get the statue. <laughs> for the Lord's orders. <laughs> uh, 
Well, this town just loves all of the tourism. It is better to resume as fast as possible, though. I want to see how the statue plays out. I've never seen the statue. I don't know what it is like. It's best to get back as soon as possible. Otherwise, we'll be stabbed in the future and not able to help ourselves. <laughs> in fairness, like, you know, like because you get like half an hour to do each level, if you can't clear it in half an hour, you deserve to die. <laughs> Let's be honest, like, there's one fucking puzzle in each I mean, level. I'm constantly trying to remember the, the rules of this, and it's like, oh yeah, Bill and Ted one rules are also in this. So yeah, you, that watch is always. Just, they constantly try to remember the rules of this. They contradict themselves. It's no the point trying to remember the fucking rules. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's the real well, yeah, only down yeah, because in about 20 minutes we're gonna just go. Yeah. Yeah. Only for this part. Yeah, yeah. only for this iteration. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, can, you can't affect your fate, you're gonna die one way or the other, unless you finish the game. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that he just leaves her behind. He leaves her behind for, like. A smoke? What the fuck is no, this? No, it's the smoke, right? She stays in the past for four years. <laughs> right? Here's the dad part. You could go back. To the original year, he just waits four years. Yeah, he doesn't want to go back to that one year. Yeah. Oh. Na, 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 na. Did he make a statue of you? Yeah. What? Oh my fucking god. Yeah. What? That looked like us. Why would why would the lord of this town allow this random person statue to be installed when he clearly wanted a tree planted? Nate, just come back the next day. Okay, so is the statue like him, like holding Nate? a bottle? It looks like. Is it holding a bottle? All oh, right then. Or, or is, yeah, he, uh, is he holding the crest, demanding? I was say it's like it's him, like midway stealing the very crest. Thank you, guys. Oh yeah, we have to die at the start of this chapter. Yes, we have to die at the start of every chapter. From that book. <laughs> yeah, but it's like right at the start. It's like now loading. Oh. Jar bays in the head. Mm. Now loading. <laughs> you are dead. What the fuck? Yeah, now we're at this now, and every uh, chapter goes, you died, lol. Ha! What the fuck do you think you're doing? Why would you stand under a balcony? Are you an idiot? I told you someone's going to kill you every 20 minutes. I think I said this on the, I, I think I said this on my other playthroughs. It's like, what is this guy doing around town waiting for death? Would you just fucking do something? I mean, you can't leave town, there was a dog. <laughs> You stopped from moving down this like uh, the street that you could fucking park a jumbo jet in. Yeah. By a dog. dog. I forgot that the whole reason why we keep dying and accepting our death is because we don't want to tussle with a dog. Yeah. <laughs> and not even that, but like because like it's an, uh, it's a closed town. There's that. massive gates. At I mean, any point you can leave. There's four exits. I also don't Just go. Them. There's a butcher's in town in every time period that would give you meat to distract that dog. <laughs> No, but you see, you could get meat, that is a, that is true, you have to, might have to buy it, but the difference is that the one in the 6th century has the hots for you, you get free meat. You get free offal. You get free offal, indeed. She's like, you can eat this anus. <laughs> you can eat my anus. <laughs> I know, that's the thing. You can, eat, you, can, you can eat this anus and there's no anus in sight. Yes! Uh. <laughs> Are you applying... Wow. Uh, you put 16th century into toss and salad. Yeah. <laughs> they were a lot more forward as well. It was this like 14 year old girl who just took me into her house to meet her parents. I suppose when the plague has made the average life expectancy 28. Yeah, yeah you have no time. Her brother, brother kept asking me to fuck her. It was weird. <laughs> Remarkably enough, this guy, the main character, is meant to be 23. Right, if you're not going, if you're ignoring the DM. I'm aware of how old this character is. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Except the fact that he should be about 600 years old. He's 23, it is also his IQ. Yes. yes. I mean, and ironically, his shoe size. <laughs> he does have very long feet. Wow, I wonder all the chicks are after him. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. They're a balance problem. No wonder, he runs like, no wonder he runs like that. <laughs> he actually only has one leg. No wonder he can fit a ladder down there. <laughs> Have you come to see my paintings again? That's Wait, how often am I here? Mr. Eckert, do you know anything about alchemy? What a weird question. Research of some kind. Mr. Eckert, do you know anything about dropping vases on people's heads? Well, you ask. I have to be busy with them. Well, I don't know anything about alchemy. I am an artist, not a homosexual. I don't want to think about poetry, Mr. Eckert. I'm an English teacher. Check out this book behind me. Just left my... Just off of my arm called Chairs Chairs. Chairs Chairs. I love Chairs Chairs. <laughs> it's a good book, isn't it? He's got multiple copies in this library. You'll see later. Lots <laughs> of Chairs Chairs Chairs. Oh, he's got that pussy. <laughs> no, where did 
the two cats that were on the floor right behind his chair? I thought you rolled the chair over them. <laughs> yeah, I, I lose more cats that way. There's no books in that area, man. This man, he really likes dominoes. <laughs> Look at all the free pictures of them. Yeah. yeah. They were actually all successful bingo cards. He uh, ah. he won the museum in a in a oh, town bingo. City. So those were his successful cards he punched. Maybe the oldest one here. Take it, I'll take it. Just yeah. to his things like stories about real alchemists that worked in this. Real, real alchemists. alchemists, yeah, yeah. Not yes. those fake alchemists you see all the time. We call them chemists. Yes. Of course, you need to take it with a pinch of salt. Oof. A pinch of salt in alchemy. Don't be sick. <laughs> Don't be sick. Seriously, it's we, we need to get close to to get anything to fucking work. Yes. Okay. Stop my last thing, the damn cat! <laughs> I just love that the cat is rendered ever so slightly differently to everything else. As if you got someone into the AI. Yeah, so you're uh, also rendered kind of better. Yeah! <laughs> Remind that, me, did these cats ever come up again? <laughs> no. It's, it seems to be one of the subplots of the girl. That you can, like, you don't, uh, like, she asks for a cat. And like the joke is, the presumption oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that you can it's bring one we'll back here. Yeah. But yeah, we never got one. No, we never got one. Disappeared. Yeah. But I think it's actually implied at some point. See, there's chairs up there. Chairs, 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 yeah. And there's a, a bigger there's, copy. There's actually chairs. four volumes of great artists there as well, and a book called oh, Gallery. Oh, they must have the first and third so edition of Chairs, Chairs. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Thank you, I will. <laughs> 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 we fucking hate this. Oh, man. 